So no disrespect to this dude, but this is one of the worst AI automation pitches to get a client I've ever seen. I'm going to show you the right way to do it. Well, so the reason for the call yesterday is because I have a AI automation agency and I basically help coaching businesses and so the first mistake I've seen is the run on sentences. They don't really care. Why are you telling them the reason for the call? They already know. When you say the reason for the call, it sounds like you cold calling. You might as well just say this is a cold call. I'm going to show you guys the mistakes and the right way to do this. But we're going to finish this pitch uh, from this brother right here. Consulting businesses like your own integrate AI. So basically what we do is we create AI chatbots uh, that are trained on data from your mentorship. And All right. So you telling them what you do is no way that he's going to get it. You know what I'm saying? Like if he got it, then he would already have it. If you get what I'm trying to say, like these people are trained to do their real estate. They're trained to do uh, plumbing or they're trained to do plastic surgery or whatever. So you telling them, you know, didn't you have to watch tutorials to learn this stuff? Didn't you have to consume a crap load of YouTube videos to understand what this stuff means? You're doing it the wrong way when you try to explain to them what you're doing. But I'm going to show you guys the right way out there, whether it's documents or videos to essentially help engage your leads. I'm not sure what your lead hey, process do you, looks like. Do you know what, do you know what my business is about? Now, as you guys saw, he just asked him, do you even know what my business is about? There is no templated way to do outreach, guys. Uh, well, there's a structure, but there's no like cookie cutter way is what I'm trying to tell you. Like every uh, business is different, even if it's in the same niche. Uh, some of them have a lot of clients. Some of them have a tiny amount of clients. You can't just tell them about their lead flow. What if they have a lot of leads already and everything? And what if they already have specific automation? So you need to just show them. OK, let me give you an example. When I do outreach or when we do, if we do outreach, majority of it is not even verbal. OK, the first touch point that a potential prospect, if you want to call them a client, because we get partners now, the first touch point is something visual. What do I mean? Because uh, people will believe it when they see it. On top of that, like most people are visual learners. You see a movie trailer. Like if you read the summary of a movie that was coming out, you wouldn't even watch the movie. It sound boring. You might not get it. The character names are stupid, blah, blah, blah. The plot seems obvious. So they show you the trailer. They present it to you. When, when um, scouts or talent scouts or whatever for the NBA or the NFL or whatever, they don't go and read your resume. They come down to your high school and see you play before they recruit you. They sit down there and they watch you play, all right? Also, back in the day, <clears throat> you used to be able to just run up to a rapper or inside a record label and spit your, your hot 16 or whatever, right? <laughs> But now they go after people that already have a massive following, uh, already have sold some music online, already do uh, concerts or whatever in their little city. Right. Because they want to see that, you know, how uh, to, you know, do business. They want to see how it works and how it would be to work with you. So your touch point initially should not even be a phone call. All right. You want to roll out the red carpet. I teach my students the red carpet method. Show them what it would be like to work with you. Now, if you don't have any money to send leads or if you don't have any money or time to just go ahead and program some type of bot or something like that, you can simply inbox them, DM them. OK. And what do you DM them? And this is before you call. So when you do call, it'll be a warm call, not a cold call. OK, so you can DM them screenshots of the process if you don't even know how to build the chat by yet or whatever you're going to be automating. So what am I talking about? So the flow of how it's going to come in from customer journey. So from inception of the customer, the customer might be inquiring of something on the website and you might be building some type of chat bot or something like that. So show them the process in screenshots and then you just simply ask them like, what do you have set up like this? 
Don't ask a yes or no question. I'm so sick of you guys asking yes or no questions. <laughs> Don't say, what, uh, would you like to talk? Or, or can we talk sometime today? Or <laughs> are, you, how, are you interested? No, you want to ask like who, when, what, which, where, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I have Thursday and Friday available at three. Which one of those days sound better? I'm busy this week. When are you available? Um, uh, now that you've seen how this chatbot works, how good would it make you feel to have all of this stuff taken off your plate? To not have to do this, do this, blah, 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 blah. That's how you want to do it, guys. First, you let them visualize it, experience it, um, you know, almost taste it. You know what I'm saying? And then you ask them how, when, which, where, what, who. Oh, you don't want this? You already got this set up? Who else do you know that would need this? And I'll give you a commission off of you just referring them to you. Okay, out of these two automations that I've shown you in this video, like it doesn't even have to be your video, guys. You can go on YouTube and send them a video of an automation. Okay, somebody else doing a video and you say, this is what we do. Which one of these two automations look good to you? Like which one of these will make your day to day easier, right? where you're not doing everything manually. And that is how you pitch to these people, guys. You don't make it really a pitch. You make it a presentation or a display of your skills. You understand what I'm talking about? Like to where they just want it. Why do you think uh, food courts at the mall, they don't walk up to you and just give you a menu, do they? No. They don't walk up and give you a menu and say, um, would you like to have the full version of this? <laughs> No, they don't do that. <laughs> they walk up to you and they give you a sample because you decide you are like if they just express with words how delicious it's going to be. Yeah, right. You're not going to get that. You have to experience it at least just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Experience it. And then you're like, you know what? I want the whole sandwich. I want the whole freaking, you know, combo meal. Right. And then they can tell you the prices or how it's going to go. OK, when you come over there to the restaurant, you're going to get two sides and the main, you know, what I'm saying meal. The main meal is chicken teriyaki, Kung Pao chicken or sweet and sour chicken like <laughs> or beef and broccoli. Like which one you want? You already tasted two of these. Which one do you want? Automatically assuming that they're interested because you know that you have something that can help them. So you're confident. And if you show confidence, the confidence will transfer over to them that what you have will work and then it becomes to where they're selling themselves and they're grateful that you've reached out to them instead of you interrupting what they had going they're happy that they had to get off the phone with their friend right <laughs> like damn what if I had missed this call right so you catch them right in the middle of it. For example, a lot of you guys think I reach out to you manually. The first touch point, only a few of you guys can reach out to me personally, like on my WhatsApp or something like that. But for before a conversation gets transferred to me, like the first two or three touch points are probably either a bot or a virtual assistant. And I'm gonna show you guys some of my bots. I, I've been doing this since the beginning of the scandemic. Like I've been doing this AI automation plug in bot stuff, right? <laughs> right? So like the first couple touch points should be automated. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was watching a video the other day where a dude was showing how people are like sitting there talking to freaking bots and stuff. You sitting here pitching to a freaking bot, dog. You haven't even talked to somebody that's human yet. Like chill. Like you gotta be human when you're online. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I, don't, I won't even start the like impressive stuff until I even know I'm speaking to a human. So let's recap. If you want to pitch properly, whatever your services are, <clears throat> first show, don't tell, don't hit them up and start telling them what you do until they already seen it. If they need like a verbal explanation for what you're showing them to go a little bit deeper into what you've shown them maybe, right? Okay, so let's say for instance, you sent them the screenshots or a video of the flow of how the AI automation is gonna go to the bot or whatever you're using, right? 
then they say, oh man, that looks cool. Like exactly how does this work or how much does this cost or something? That is then when you begin your explanation with words. Okay. After they've seen what you got and you, they've proved that they're like interested. <clears throat> Do you understand? That's how it goes. So don't sit and get caught up doing some long pitch guys when they don't even know if they're interested in what you have. First, prove interest. You understand what I'm saying? First, prove that they're your folks because they might not even be your freaking folks and you sitting there talking to them all day when you could be talking to somebody that's actually interested in purchasing what you have, okay? This is what I want for you, to know how to get partners or whatever you might consider clients for your AI automation agency or any agency that you guys have out there. All right, love you guys.